and um, that 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 shit was pretty good. But this is another Netflix. Netflix. Move over towards the camera. Oh, yo, I I didn't know you was you know. Actually, I just we just going live, man, so we could just get our thing in. We. Crow, what's up, everybody? How y'all check, doing? Check, check, one, two. What's Big good, John? Uh, what's up, everybody? Yo, let's check that mic. We good, we good. Bird, man. Yes, sir. One, two, three, four. That's the wrong one, John. Go now. Okay, then. Got you. Yup. And then this is me. That's what's up, baby. All right, there we go. It's the bird. How so, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? What's good? I I like that, man. You know I like that. I'm gonna just let it roll, man. So yo, I've been getting uh James Bond fuck out. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. You cool with that? Yo, and let me tell you this too, right? Um, damn, I wish I had the internet. You know what? I'm gonna bring it back up next week. Um, when we do the show again, you know, this is a this is just a little song that we're going to put on right now. But the homie who made 211 and Plug Love. Homie out of Detroit, man. I, I'm, I'm going to do my homework and, uh, and give you a little bit more insight on on on, on those two movies. Because th those, those two movies are good, man. The same homie that's doing them. I'm not for sure the homie's name. I had it, you know, I, I I didn't write it down. I figured I'd just pull it up on the internet, but you know how that's going. We we having some issues, but we're gonna get that together. But I'm gonna have that for you next week. Because those two movies are pretty good, man. I watched them on Tubi. It was cool, you know. Tubi Tubi makes it happen, man. Yeah. Tubi got a lot of movies. They got some shit on there. They got a lot of movies on Tubi, man. But uh two eleven. Yo, man, that, that you should check that out if you can, man. Two eleven and plug love. Yeah, it, it it was cool. It was cool. I enjoyed it. You know, it was some support the homie. Two eleven plug love. And you said you was getting into that James Bond. Yeah, yeah. You like yeah, that, huh? Yeah, I like the world of espionage. James Bond and all of that. You know what I mean? Big chips. Daniel Craig of the big chips. Big up. chips. It was a, it, um. So I just went through this thing. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. So. On Amazon Prime, and the reason why I even had to go through this is because it, lately it, I, it hasn't really been much on on uh, on the TV. Right. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I've scoured, I've scoured everything, and I'll be able to you know pick and hand pick some stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I, you know, I've been going back into the Game of Thrones thing and all of that. But I'm saying there hasn't really, it's not a lot that's out here that is like anything that I haven't seen already. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm watching old stuff. So I went through on Amazon Prime. They have a documentary about 007. Okay. But when they put the documentary on there, uh -huh. they also put the majority of the James Bond movies on there. And I've always said I wanted to just sit down and just binge watch Andrew. James Bond because uh -huh. you can never go wrong. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing is... uh I was doing the, uh, what's his name? What's, tell me the, 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 the uh, Craig, what's Craig's name? What's the real dude that played James? I, mean, I just mentioned it. Um, Is Craig Daniels? The, is it? Or? No, nah, oh, man, I cannot think of his name. No. It's not Roger Craig, it's Roger Moore. So I know, because me and Bob just went through this. Well, Craig Daniels, I think it might be. Anyway. Go ahead, yeah. That one. Right. Um, you know, I've always had my favorites. You know, like people always say, which one is your favorite Bond? Uh -huh. I've always had my favorites, but I've been watching his because I really didn't watch them. I really mm -hmm. didn't. I really didn't. I really didn't watch those. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when I started watching them, I'm not sure if those ones go like, you know how you watch Snowfall? Mm -hmm. And it'd be a series. It'd be like a season. And it'd be like the shit that continuity. Right, it concludes. Before. Right, it runs. Well, that's how other. these are with uh -huh. him. So I, I started. Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig. There you I, go. I said Craig Daniel. Right, you. Forget we just had it backwards. <laughs> Mastered all that. It's all good. Daniel Craig. Okay, so Pete. So, um, what did I do? 
what I did was um, I started with Snow, uh, uh, wait, Skyfall. Uh huh. About to say Snowfall. Right. You know we love Snowfall. All day. It's never coming back. You think it's gonna come back? I hope so. Then again, I don't know, man. I mean, without without the homie, man, you could tell the show just was just missing. Well, you know, I mean, John Singleton, you know, he. he oh, you know what? I got something stuff. to tell you. First, let me go back to my James Bond stuff. All right. And then, and then I got some juicy stuff to tell you. Right. TV on the horizon is coming and do some stuff. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you just, you know, you gotta, you gotta hold it down. So we're gonna, be, it's like volleyball. No, okay. people, it's out. Mm -hmm. On a James Bond tip, mm -hmm. Skyfall. Started with Skyfall. Okay. After Skyfall, I watched Quantum Solace. Both of them shits is raw. That shit is raw. You know what I'm saying? Homie, I don't think none of the 007s is, is garbage with Daniel Craig in it. I, that's what I'm saying. I didn't know. This, right, I, right. I, I, I didn't know this. You feel me? I knew about all of the other joints. Right. Hold on. Let me get my my headphone cord from underneath my foot because I'm getting pumped. Yo, yeah. that shit is good. Yes. And yes. I, I, it yes. may be almost, it's, I, I be like, yo, what do I like better between that and Mission Impossible? I yo, can't man, tell I knew you. you was going to bring up that Mission Impossible, bro. Mission Impossible be raw, man. Hey, man, look, Mission Impossible. That shit be raw. Yeah. So, 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 mm -hmm. so peep this out. Okay. I went from Skyfall, and mm -hmm. that shit was raw, man. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, You know the chick M? The lady that plays M. Right. Uh huh. You know, she just recently passed a little while ago. No. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, she recently checked out. Um uh, but she's piece. she's scandalous though. On on James oh, Bond. Oh, in, the, in the in the show. On yeah. on, on the movies, in you the never show. really know because she she had you set up and whack for real. And she be she don't really too much care for her. Did you watch all not to cut you off, but did you watch all of them? The majority of them, yeah. Okay, because you have you gotten to the later episodes of movies of mine. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, go. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. So, 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 so we're going. So, because remember, Golden and I and all of them. Uh huh. That was that was the right. other bond. Right. And that was the Golden I was in 05. Um, I think it was like two more. It was like maybe one more after that. I forgot what that one was called. Then. What's his name came on board? You know what I'm saying? Right. It was a few years in between films. Mm -hmm. Now, Skyfall came out. That was his first one. That was the first one with, uh, uh, what you say his name is? Dan Craig. Okay. Thank you. Now, Skyfall was raw as fuck. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. And it was shady, though. She the one that told the black chick, take the shot. You feel me? Right. Missed the dude, shot that nigga. He fell all the way from, you know what I'm saying, from up there. They ain't know where he was. He was off of some island somewhere. He went through the whole waterfall shit, all that, you know. And the whole the movie goes from there, right? Mm -hmm. Good shit, right? So boom, we're done with that. Quantum Solace is the next one. So I'm watching Quantum Solace. Mm -hmm. When I'm watching Quantum Solace, there's stuff that happened in Skyfall mm -hmm. that's still relevant in Quantum Solace. Right. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No, I'm watching Quantum Solace. Quantum Solace was raw. Yes. That shit is raw, man. Yeah, I ain't seen it in a couple years, but yeah. Matter of fact, I haven't really watched any of the Bond movies in a minute. But like you said, the you 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 can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with it. Man. You're going to be entertained. You're going to be entertained. But go ahead. So so it's like, you know, uh, that and Arnold Solis came out, right? Uh huh. I think what year was that? Quantum Solace came on. I think that was like 08, 09, something like that, right? Okay. Now, after that, you got a uh, 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 Casino Royale. Casino Royale was raw as fuck. Okay. And that was with Craig, too? Yes. Okay. Now, here's the problem. Mm hmm. This is the thing. This is what I, I, it, it amazes me because I don't know why Amazon did this. So, the one that just came out with my dude that played uh, 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 old boy from uh, Queen. Mm -hmm. From Queen, right? Mm -hmm. Queen. Um, Frank, what's his name? Fred, I know you talking Fred, about. Freddie Mercury. Uh, Freddie Mercury. Did, did, you know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Him? And he'd yeah. be like on like a... Uh, 
Was it iRobot or something like that? But um, I can't think of his name, but he played Freddie Mercury. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. He was in the last one, the last James Bond. I ain't seen that one. I that shit is it. raw. But uh -huh. here's the problem, though. They all go in order. Now, I don't know why Amazon did this, but Spectre is the only one that is, that is not you have to pay for it. No, it's available, but you have to pay for it. But it's not the latest one. But it's not the latest one, but the latest one is available for free. For free. So I was like, but why is it that one that you have to pay for? And no matter where you go, mm -hmm. it, it, you have to pay for it. Now, mind you, it's three ninety nine. dollars mm -hmm. But, I mean, why how come I could watch all of the rest of them from the 60s all the way up? And just this one is not available, and it goes in and sequence. You need to watch I, it. I need right. to watch this before you need I can to finish. Watch it because it's like this. I started watching the last one, mm -hmm. but I stopped it mm -hmm. because there was stuff that they were talking about, and you didn't. That understand. was Inspector. Right, right, right. So you had to go back. And you the name of the back. movie is Spectre, right? Okay. So I'm watching No Time to Die, and they were like, "Wait a minute, Hit the there's ball, more." But... You know what they said? You know what they said? They said, "Wait a minute." You mean there's more than one Spectre? And it was like, yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. I stopped it. Right Because there. Spectre is called Spectre. Right. So if I'm here and you're telling me there's more than one you didn't know, well, hell, I might as well stop now. Right, right. I'm up the creek. I'm up the creek. I'm I'm lost. So don't get me wrong. I was having hours of enjoyment. I was right. cool. I was cool. I was cool not watching. No. <laughs> I was cool right there. Yep. You know I, what I'm saying? I can imagine. And then it just spoiled everything. It just it's like, well, hell, like, I mean, yeah. I, I got to watch Spectre. Right. So I went to the Fire Stick, and I tried to watch Spectre there, and it just kept offering. No luck. And I wanted to watch it. I don't right. I don't want to keep stopping, pausing, let it, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I want to watch that shit. Right. Because, you know, I don't really have, like, a lot of time. Yeah. So when I do get that time, I want to, let me focus on this shit. And the buffering, man, the buffering is, uh, it's just annoying. It is. It, it's annoying. It, I mean, it, it, a little bit is okay, but like when you keep buffering and you keep buffering and you keep buffering. I wasn't mad when um the sports app that I was watching was buffering um every time the Browns had a play and then it would stop buffering <laughs> when it was in between when it was like a huddle. Uh -huh. I was I was okay with it. I was mad, but now in hindsight I'm okay. Mm -hmm. It did that for the Indians too. I was watching the Indians, you know, on this on this um sports thing that Bob gave me, man, and, and uh -huh. it just kept buffering, man. I was like, oh my And then it'll be like the bottom of the inning or it's like two outs or something. You'd be like, I what what happened? Breeze. Yep. Breeze. Yeah. So, so anyway, I was on my bond kick. Mm -hmm. Spectre. I just got a you know, Netflix. I mean not Netflix, but uh, Amazon got a bone to pick with you. Fix that shit, man. Make make it available. That shit is old. Spectre came out in 2012. I haven't seen that. Me neither. Yeah, that's the I whole, seen. I haven't, neither have I. As a matter of fact, the thing that's raw is that as much as I love Bond, I always saved them. These are the ones that I saved because this is when I was kind of like just coming back from the Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I was kind of like still, I wanted to save them. I finally had a chance to sit down and watch them, man. And I just, that shit is raw. I also had a chance to sit down and watch I'm not going to watch them all because I really kind of only like two of these. Mm -hmm. But I watched last night, I was watching Indiana Jones. Dog, yo, Indiana Jones, man. Indiana Jones is tight. That's a good-ass movie. Shit, all three of them. And before that, you know what else I was watching that's old school? What's same that? camp, though. Same camp. Same what's, camp. What's that? Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Close Encounters of the Third Kind, man. You know some scary stuff right there, man. No, it wasn't that man. That movie is good as fuck. It was. You never watched that? I'm trying to think. Maybe I'm getting confused. Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Germ. It came out in like 1979. I'm trying to think, man. Close Encounters. Maybe 78, 79. Okay. Close Encounters of the Third Kind was made by. Uh, it's 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 it was made by uh, George Lucas and Steven Spielberg, just like Star Wars, just like Indiana Jones. It's mm -hmm. the same camp. So you can imagine when they when they and, and Jaws when they make movies, these movies be all time classics. So just imagine how good Close Encounters of the Third Kind is. That shit came out back then. That shit is still good, man. Yo, man, big shout out to Steven Spielberg, man, because um, uh, let me let me get this a real quick, man. Um, Oprah Winfrey, you know I got a crush on her, right? Mm -hmm. So check this out, man. I remember her. 
um, uh, she was uh, um, giving a little interview about being able to have production work, right? Like for movies and uh, things of that nature, right? Uh -huh. And she said how she was getting turned down. And this is Oprah Winfrey, right? Uh -huh. and she's talking about how she was being turned down and she couldn't get certain things done. And she said, we need to have our own, right? And so, so what she meant by that is, you know, you need to have your own production, your own you know, your own so that you don't have to answer to nobody, right? Yeah. So the reason why I bring that up is because her and and, and you like like you mentioned, the homie Steven Spielberg put together the color purple. Right. And and for Steven Spielberg and I and Bert, I didn't really understand this at the time that the color purple was released. Mm -hmm. But Hollywood had a problem with Steven Spielberg. And they probably still do because how are you going to put your name behind this movie? You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I was just like, you know, now that you look back at it, you go, man, Steven Spielberg, look at what he was doing. Raiders of the Lost Ark. You know what I'm saying? Jaws. Uh, uh, Steven Spielberg had his hands in so much stuff. But he did the color purple. You know what I'm saying? You got to you got to look at that man because that the color purple had nothing to do in the realm of where Steven Spielberg was really making his name. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's something for him to make that movie with Oprah Winfrey it, it, it hitting. You know what I'm saying? It was like, look, this is important to me. You know what I'm saying? This the, because he was already established. He did not have to go and put out the colored purple. You know what I'm saying? You got your phone? Yeah. Oh, no, you got your laptop. Yeah, but it ain't on the... Oh, right. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, if you... Um, Color purple, homie. Yeah. Go, go, to, go to the YouTube channel, Birdhouse Entertainment. And then go to the show. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the trailer. Man, hold on. My phone's about to die. It is? <laughs> yeah, it's about to die, man. All right. I'm going to say that. Hold up. I'm going to say that. I'm going to play the, uh, the trailer. For the Have you registered for your LLC yet? No, not yet. I'm overwhelmed. Uh, I'm More overwhelmed. Just the ad. They got me, you know, ugly and gross. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's my joints. Um. Video, video. Indianapolis, Aries 31 has traffic 2 o'clock, slightly above. Can you clear aircraft flight? Uh, negative. So this is a remake, right? Oh. Oh. No, 1970. Okay. Classic, right? Like, that's how classic it is. It's okay that it was made in 1977. Because George Lucas, Mr. Spiller, Richard Dreyfus. Now check this out. Indianapolis, Aries 31 has traffic 2 o'clock, slightly above. Can you clear aircraft type? Uh, negative center, uh, no distinct outline. Tell you the truth, the target is rather brilliant. Wait a second, he's heading right for my windshield. The traffic is approaching head on. Alter right and rear yep. moving. And right by oh. is right now. Yep, I got you. Oh, word. I got you. Thirty-one. Do you wish to file a report of any kind of it? That's trailer like doing a remote test. Man, Bert, I'm trying to remember, man. I'm trying. To... I don't think He's I can. That little boy, that little boy, hey, man, John, man, this is so raw. You gotta watch this, this shit. Nuts. Yo, man, did did. Did he have to give a? Um, they, they they took him right. No, he he volunteered to go. He wanted to go, but it was calling him. Okay, but it wasn't just. No, nah, I didn't see this, man. The, the movie I saw, they snatched dude up. No, that's fire in the sky. And that was like. Years, that was, years, years no, later, this is 1977. Yeah, this happened when we was kids. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, I was like maybe three. No, you gotta watch this though. Mm -hmm. 
You see what he's doing with them mashed potatoes and he keep drawing that shit? See that? You see that? Mm -hmm. You gotta watch that. You see that mountain? It was calling him the whole time. Mm -hmm. He didn't know why, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But nobody did. Mm -hmm. And when they got there, look at this shit. Check that out, and it's digitally remastered in 4K for your enjoyment. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, that's definitely a classic. You gotta get hip to, bro. Um, like, all right, it's this this premise to it, man. So you know, Close Encounters is all about that, you know, that mm -hmm. type of shit, right? Mm -hmm. The thing that was dope. This is what made it so dope. This is look, it, they took a whole bunch of people. Mm -hmm. When I started my but business they weren't in 2011, I chose... You understand know what I'm saying? They're too, they're too intelligent for that. Mm -hmm. But the movie didn't show nothing like this. The movie, it was like long, drawn-out 70s type movie. But it was good as fuck, all right? Mm -hmm. And um, I've watched it before, but I watched it again the other day, and I was like, you know what? I forgot how good this movie is, man. That shit is just that good. Um... So check this this little scene out right quick. You can see this like in the in the thing. Wait, I messed up. In uh, where's my cursor? There it is. Mm -hmm. Let me get it out of there. All right. Let me see if this is the clip I'm looking for. Keep this up. So they all met up at the top of this mountain. One of the scientists had a synthesizer. And the lights, they play the notes. That's how they communicate. I think, man, I saw like bits and pieces of it. Cause I remember the synthesizer, synthesizer, uh, chop that shit, synthesizer, there you go. I remember that, I remember this. I remember this part. Now you better get loose with it. The only thing these crazies have in common are five signals. I hope somebody's taking all this down. What are we saying to each other? Seems they're trying to teach us a basic tonal vocabulary. It's the first day of school, fellas. Take everything from the lady. Tell her how to do it. Notice them the same colors as the pads on the NPC. Same. <laughs> Translation here, Locke. Well, their audio signal. We're taking over this conversation now. Mind you, all of these folks are all Jewish. Why you got Kanye West running around making these statements? And he was working with Oprah to make uh, Color Purple, right? Mm -hmm. Right, so what is he talking about? Kanye, man. You... His name is Ye. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's... Yeah. Yeah, man. So, uh, you get around to it when you know you have some spare time, man. Go, go you know, check that out. Close Encounters. And you pulled that up on YouTube, huh? Uh-huh. Well, actually, that's where I watched it at. You know what mm -hmm. I'm mean? saying? It, it's, it's one of them free movies on YouTube. Mm-hmm. It's one of them free movies on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, hold on. Hello? Yeah. Uh, it should be on... It should be on... Uh, oh, I got a red light. It should be on, um, um, you, you're on the phone, so it might be blocking, because I'm going out on my hotspot, so you being on the phone might be stopping it. 
It will go, I'll go, go on my YouTube. Yeah, uh, yeah. yo, check that shit out. It's yep, a classic, yep. classic movie. Yup, yup. Um, so I didn't want to jump into the politics of Ye and his uh, rash statements or behavior. I just wanted to just bring that up since as a segue, since you brought up Oprah and that uh, uh, St uh, Spielberg, Still, right. um, you know what I'm saying, with and the collab and making such a classic and building wealth with you know an, an icon because Oprah wasn't Oprah before Color Purple. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, like she was talking about struggling to get a role. Speaking of somebody struggling to get a role, I know you checked out Viola Davis on the uh, Woman King. Did you check that? No, not yet. We can't talk about it. Yeah, yet. but no, you can talk about the experience that you was able to see it. Okay, so. You know what I'm saying? And so, all of that. You don't have to tell the plot. Okay, so let me tell y'all real quick. What's up, Birdhouse? Let's talk about it. Um, We took a trip. Me and the fam took a trip to the Black History Museum in D.C. Okay, so when we got there, um, you had a lot of, uh, they, they, they showed a lot of pictures of of uh of uh slave ports in Africa and and when you when you when you watch the woman king boom that's one of the portraits that they took right out of the Black History Museum and stuck it right in the movie and and for those you, you know you might not have known what you were looking at but I was educated on it and I knew hey look that's fucked up. Like, wasn't nothing good happening there. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's the spot where we was being sold by our own, and you know, so just 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 in seeing that, and they, and they showed that bird, like in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? They, that's like one of the opening scenes that you see in the movie, and it just set a tone to me. Like everybody else is all pumped up because. Excuse me, they're looking at all the uh, Viola Davis and all the other actors and how, how toned up they are, the, the action scenes, and, you know, they all getting pumped up and whatnot. But at the same time, there is still a disturbing, it was disturbing for me, and and, and the movie didn't really pick up on it. It was still present, but if you didn't, really pay attention to it, it you may have, it may have went over your head now i don't want to talk about it you know I, I really can't talk about it but just having that experience and i'm watching the movie it kind of it was still a good movie but at the same time what was going on kind of bothered me and, and and you you just you gotta understand that hey look it happened and and just 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 watch the movie it's a great movie everybody a great movie to check out i recommend it you know but just same time bird you know you, you're gonna know what i'm talking about you're gonna see it and you'll be like this is what jerm talking about man it was it's 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 not put in your face but if you know what's going on and you start thinking about it it's 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 gonna it's gonna start to you're gonna start to think a little bit about it you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. you're gonna start to think about it and the people who i have talked to about the movie mm -hmm. it went over their head it okay. went way over their head. They was just like, "Oh, I didn't know that." And you go, "Yeah, you know, you 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 caught up in the, in in in, you know, the, the women, you know, because you know that they're, they're strong. They have a strong essence in the movie, strong presence. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 about the. the you just gotta watch it, man. I got you caught up. Because because it's only look, it's only but so much. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. only but so much I can say, and it's just like, yeah, you just gotta watch it. You just gotta watch it. And it, it, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Gr great movie. Great movie. Just, just a couple things that had me thinking, and I'm just sitting there thinking, like, man, this is, yeah. But at the same time, it happened, and you, and that's another thing. They kept it real. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They didn't want to sugarcoat shit, but they didn't bring it to the forefront. You had to like sit down and like kind of 
think about what you're watching, what exactly is going on. You know what I'm saying? And then you go, yo, this is kind of fucked up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of fucked up. But um, I, I would like to see... I would like to see what happens. I would like them to make a, a sequel to The Woman King. The Woman King. I would like to see that. Because, you know, I got an idea of what happens. Because, you know, you pretty much know what happens. Just put it like that. Yeah, you 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 know what happens. It's it's just you know you can't you can't erase history. Let's let's just put it like that. Mm. The woman king, yeah. But everybody that I talked to was just like, oh, it's, they were this and they were that. And I'm like, well, did you know that this was going on? Mm. Did you did you did you keep that in the movie? And they go, well, uh 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 uh. Yeah, that's exactly what was going on. This is why she felt the way she did. Yo, man, you gotta watch it, man. You gotta watch that shit, man. You got because the reason why she felt the way she did is what really drove her to be the woman king. You gotta check that shit out, man. It was it was good. It was good. It was it was real good. It was real good. It was real good. I, I recommend it. I recommend it. Yeah, man. I'm going. I'm in the process of um. I just took c cinema. HD off my fire stick. Mm -hmm. I'm in the process, so I gotta remember what did I do to install it on it in the first place mm -hmm. because it was acting funky. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've been trying to watch this whole Spectre, and then um, I was trying to look up the, the Woman King, and I was, mm -hmm. still trying to, I was still trying to watch Beast. Um, oh, wait, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Plus, I still gotta catch up on the book of Canaan because I kind of stopped watching that shit weeks ago. Um, but you know, BMF starts this week. Mm -hmm. okay? Um, I'm just scared because I know that they put they have Monique on there. I hope she don't mess it up. So let me change this view. So it's both me and you because I got, I got a few movies that I want to talk about. But while I'm talking about it, since we're gonna keep it brief, at the same time that I'm talking about these things, I'm also gonna entertain you because the theme is in this segment is uh, ladies that just disappear somewhere. You know what I'm saying? But they're still here. You dig what I'm saying? So, let me tell you real quick. Remember we was talking about the movie Day Shift with Jamie Foxx, Snoop Dogg, and uh, what's his name? Dave Franco? Okay. On Netflix. Mm -hmm. You ever had a chance to check that one out yet? Mm -hmm. no. Okay. Let me give you... Because I heard it was silly and shit. No. Nah, Jer... It was all right? Okay. No. Nah. Remember I told you you need to check it out. You it's... did tell me I need to check it out. And then uh, I think my daughter was like, eh, I don't know. Somebody told me. Yeah, you got to ignore that, man. Yeah. Some people just automatically do that. We got to stop doing that because we actually be... Um, Shooting ourselves we be, down. We be, missing out, we be missing out on entertainment. For mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything ain't going to go home with the Oscar or the Emmy. You know what I'm saying? But, True. like, we be we be, we be be missing out on, 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 on some work that people would have put in on. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to give you I'm giving an incentive. People that have been missing for a very long time. Megan Good is on day shift. Boom. That's my that's my reason for you to watch it. Hey, that's a that's a good enough reason. Now, I'm gonna give you another one. What's up? It's yeah, another movie. Should work. It's another movie. Day shift, man. That is on Netflix that just came out. Check that when I get home. It's called I don't know what it's called. I gotta look up what it's called, but I know that it has Martin Wayans, Rob Riggle. Wait a minute, is he a family man? He, uh. Yeah. Mickey was watching this the other night. Okay, listen. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. It was good. It's got, it's got Kelly Rowland. Yup, 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 yup. And, 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 might I say, I might I say, I have to say this. Uh huh. It's not a bad movie. Okay. This movie is, 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 is silly. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But it was done so well, it's about as good as like watching like Goosebumps or, or one of them types of movies. You okay. Know? Okay. So like it's it's a it's a good watch. I mean it's Halloween, you know what I'm saying? Right. And uh Marlon Wayans, Rob Riggle, um, the one chick that played the mayor, she be she got she was on another movie that was on Netflix that was just she was just insane. I think she might have been on Brooklyn ninety nine. But anyway, mm -hmm. funny movie. But again, the people that we haven't seen in a while. Kelly Rowland is on that mom. Okay, okay. Yeah, we ain't seen Kelly in a minute. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Kelly Rowland is on that motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, man, so 
I'm hoping that we'll. I'm hoping that we'll. I'm hoping that we'll get. Um, mm. no, Marlon is funny though. Uh, um, I'm gonna tell you something, man. Yeah. Marlon Wayans on this movie is funny. He brought it back. Well, it's 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 not that. I think he found his. He found his 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 is appropriate for him. Like I I wasn't cool with it when he was on GI Joe. I didn't think mm-hmm. he, he didn't belong on GI Joe. Mm-hmm. Okay. I didn't check that, but I will say this. In the movie, in the clips I seen, he looked more mature. Mm. Yeah, he looked more mature. Yeah, I'll give you. I'll give you that. Yeah, I'll give when you that. I seen him, that that was like one of the biggest things that kind no, of. No, I'll, I'll give you that. Me. No, I'll give you that. You know, I'll so I'm, I'm gonna check it out. I know it's on Netflix. I don't know the name of it, but I know it's on Netflix. It is the bridge something hollow bridge bridgerton hollow or mm. it's something it's you'll see it but okay. it, you know the point is kelly Rowland is in that motherfucker oh and you ain't seen her in a minute matter of fact the last time you saw her in a halloween movie she got murked you remember what was she in you remember you, no. don't you remember she was in freddie versus jason I ain't see that. You just what? I ain't seen no Freddy vs. Jason. Man. Did you see the new Halloween Halloween ends? Nah. Did you hear anything about it? I know you told me it was good. You've been hollering the screen. Yeah, but I was just nah, trying to draw nah, you in to watch it. See, you was you was no, nah, um, because I still haven't watched the one like what Halloween Returns. The last one. The one before that. The last one was good as fuck. Okay, yeah, cause I gotta see that too. And you know what? I'm gonna put it to this way: now, you need to watch both of them, though. Now, Number one. Now peep this. Now check this, man. I'm a big Halloween fan. At least I was until like, cause like the first. You talking about when like Rob Zombie started remaking his because own like when the Rob stuff. Zombie came out, I still enjoyed his movies because they were so fucked up. But, okay, let me ask you a question real quick. This is a podcast, and we gotta geek out on shit. Okay, what's up? You know what's the part that always threw me about Rob Zombie? Um, with, um, with the Halloween? Yeah. Okay, go. The opening scene, when they were on the checkered boarded, uh, uh, they were outside. The, they opened it and they were in, um, they were like on a yard inside the mental institution where, where, where Michael Myers has escaped from. The floor looked like this, but it was like yellow and white. It was checkerboarded. And all of the patients were just standing on a square, almost like chess pieces scattered on uh, one, like they had distance in between each other. And they were just standing like this. Mm-hmm. I think I'm, I'm trying to visualize. They were just standing there. And um, Michael Myers was just standing there and they were calling him and trying to interview him and get him to, and he wouldn't, he wouldn't snap out. He was just, he was just standing there in that square. Mm-hmm. I just didn't understand that. Now this is the free- and, they, and they and they actually referred to that shit again in uh they had a flashback of that in uh the the new one. See, I'm about to see so so they so they took some of the Rob Zombie movies. Well, it's I think it's all because you know who um was some of the uh executive producers of this one and the last one. Who's that? Danny McBride. You know who Danny McBride is, right? I've heard of the name. Danny McBride is. You ever heard of that show that Bob always used to talk about? Um, something, some, something down. What is it called? It's something down. All right, Danny McBride. He be doing a lot of shit. So he was like, all right, you saw, you saw, you saw, you saw Deadpool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, that's not Danny McBride. That's the other dude. Damn it. That's a bad example. Danny McBride. He be on all of that like sausage party shit. He had his own, a couple of his own shows. You would know who he is. Well, anyway, um, he's behind that. You know what I'm saying? No, that's Franco. That's the one dude. The one dude's name, because you said Saucer. Yeah, Park. yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's the same crew. Right. right. It's right. Jeff Rogan. Right. Uh, 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 what's his name? Franco. Right, because uh, the Franco dude, he got caught. Okay, Danny McBride. He, I know. They make movies together. together. I know. Right, Every movie right. they be in, they all be together. I'm trying to think. So Danny, Danny McBride uh, is the one that he's tall. His eyebrows is kind of like like this, and he got curly hair and a goatee. And he kind of like he got like a like a gruffy voice, but he's funny though. Uh huh. He's uh-huh. but he's funny though. Um, South Side, South Sound Down, some Sound Down. I can't think. I know what you're talking about, but go, go. Okay, what's up? Damn show. Well, anyway, uh, he's 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 um him, John Carpenter, and 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 Jamie Lee Curtis. Put the funding up for the like just they the executive producers of this shit. Mm-hmm. I didn't see Rob Zombie's name on there, but maybe uh, I I had to look again. I I didn't see Rob Zombie's name on this one. 
Um, but, 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 but at the same time, but they used some uh, flashback material from from Rob Zombie's movie in the, in the, in the, in the lineage of the story. So check that out. Um, speaking of people we haven't seen in a while, I was hoping that pretty soon we would be seeing Nia Long. She should be free and available to get back into Hollywood. You know well, I'm saying? sure she's free and available. She, yeah. she, she pissed that dude, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You know who else is free and available? Who's this? Lala. Um, Lala Anthony? Yeah. And uh, it's somebody else I was looking at that uh, make, that made it apparently known that they are now available. You know what I mean? One second. Don't get smashed. You come and smash. Oh, okay. Alright. You made me mad, and you can come and smash. <laughs> uh oh. Wait, why? Stupid, man. Stupid. All right. Hey, I understand, Nia. I mean, your boy, the coach, coach is uh, putting in some moves. Coach is putting in some moves out here, man. You know, coach. Coach. Nia Long. Hey, yeah, so what's going on with Coach? Well, anyway. Yeah, hey, man, Coach that. got caught, man. That's what happened. Coach got caught. Yo, man. Nia Long, though. Yeah, man, but pff, whatever. You're crazy. It's Nia Long, man. Yo, man, Nia take good pictures. Don't mean that she putting it down. Yeah, I think she do. Think she putting uh, it yeah. down? Yeah, uh-huh. Think she putting it down on you? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, just being some dumb on some dumb shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, Nia ain't putting it down. You got me, man. You crazy? <laughs> Nia ain't putting it down. She fine. She nah, fine. but nah. she ain't putting it down, nah, nigga. You crazy, nigga? She sitting up. Nah. She ain't. You know, know what it, it might be? It's not that. I think she might just be a little bossy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you wait, man. A little bossy. Yeah, but That's nah, she pushed it down though. I think she pushed it down. But wait, she gonna put it down? Yeah. She got the thing that go around your head, the zip, and the thing you gotta have a safety word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me and told that motherfucker, look, dude, I ain't doing shit. You coming in you know, on these little basketball trips, coming in all night times in the night. Fuck that. I'm nah, hell no. Nah. Yeah, me ain't putting it down for that dude. Yeah, so he had to make yeah. a move with the coach. With Coach's white women, one of the executives, somebody, mm -hmm. yo. Assistant, one of the, like, the... Uh, man, do you know that his coaching career is over? I mean... It's a wrap, man. He ain't never coaching in the NBA, man. It's a wrap. I mean... So anyway, man, it, hey, it is what it is, Nia. I wish you the best, baby girl, you know? Oh, and look here, man. This is a, a, a lighter note, you know. One relationship is fucked up. Another relationship just started on October. October shit the eighth or ninth. I wanna give a big shout out. Big shout out to my cousin Tar. What's up, Marcus. man? That's what's up. My little, uh, uh, my little You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. October 9th. That's it was October 9th, Bert. I get that shit together, man. It was a beautiful wedding. Beautiful wedding. Beautiful wedding. We I saw some pictures. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they've we, been kicking it ever since, too. We did it good. They did it good, man. It's just want to give them much love and respect and wish y'all the best out there. You know what I'm saying? Marriage is a beautiful thing. and can be a fucked up thing when the shit ain't going good. So, but hey, those times won't last for long. Just remember that. And, uh, you know, fucked up times happen. And you'll get through them. So, hey. I say that because you know nobody want to talk about that shit, but that's that's real shit. Yeah. You won't you won't have good days all the time. You yeah. not at all. So, yo, big shout out to them. I'm happy for them. They started their lives together, and it was beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful ceremony, man. Well, I want to send yeah. a shout out to uh, my other half, my better half, Destiny Jackson. Destiny, what's up, baby girl? Um, it was her birthday on the 19th. Oh, also my out. cousin Erica's birthday was on the nineteenth. All right, What's shout out to y'all. Um, but I really want to uh, also just basically go back to sending a, a, a backup, stronger uh, shout out to Destiny because you know you 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 couldn't have said that shit better. Mm. Every day is not a good day. Every day is not a good you know day. What I'm saying? But resilience, man, you can't give up. You gotta keep pushing. Mm -hmm. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta try to stay positive. And that's one of the hardest things that's, that it is to do sometimes, is to stay positive. Mm -hmm. 
but this too shall pass, man. You know right. It, it's going, we're going to be here. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, so shout out to her. Also, also shout out to my boy, Juicy Jew. What up, Jew? Asked me to hang hang back for a little bit. He needs uh, to get a uh, ride home. Oh, what's up with the whip? We I don't let him drive over there. Okay, then. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, he just finished uh, driving school this week. Mm -hmm. Um, but um, you know what I'm saying? He he, he can't go there. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I, you know, okay. You park know, at okay. Windermere. The, the the job is across the street from the Brook Park Rapid Station. So okay. You just there catch you the train and just, just catch the train, just boom, boom, boom. Safety first, folks. You know what I'm you saying? Know, catch the train, so, get off the train, boom, get in the whip, drive. Shout away. out to him. Um, there you go. It'll work. You know what I'm saying? He's yep. working hard. He's yep. trying to keep pull his grades up. He, we had a chance to do a Zoom chat with somebody that may have an opportunity for him. Okay. Then he's going to look at a couple of these colleges and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm You know. Mm hmm Jay, she doing her thing. They upgraded her thing. So, you know what I'm saying? They upgrading her shit. So she ready for second grade. Well, that's beautiful, homie. And you know Janelle, she about to leave us, man. She about to graduate. Yeah. She about to block. No, she's not to go right nowhere. I bet you she not. I bet you she'll what? go to school. It's going to be like us when we went to Coon State. She okay. says she wants to get as far away from you as possible, but I, I bet you she going to be somewhere where she can still make it home, at least on the holidays and the weekends. So mm -hmm. Let them venture out. You know what I'm saying? I wish them the best. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I did my best, and I, I you know what I'm saying? I, I you know, they, Homie, that's all we can do. They got what a good we foundation. Got. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's time to spread your wings. There you go. You know? Um, yeah. Time to spread your wings. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, check this out. We'll be back next week, man. We can't stay sure. too late. Right, but it was a good show, man. We did something. Um, yeah. You know we, what I'm we saying? We got to. We, you know, and we, we, we were resourceful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, I don't know how this is going to play out because the phone rang. No, we're going out. So I'm hoping it didn't cut me off somewhere. Mm. If it did, it's cool. We know what the issue is. We're growing. We got our own music. Um, next time oh, I come here, hitting. next time I come here, I'm gonna have a uh, our intro mm -hmm. in here. It's actually probably on the thumb drive that's down in here. I'll okay. be having that shit. We'll get it together. Turntables. You feel me? Yup. Key yep. <laughs> keys. <laughs> Mics. Um. Oh, we're gonna blow the roof off this mug when we get this shit together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Believe that. Yeah. <laughs> Believe that. Yes, sir. Crew, this is the Birdhouse Show, y'all. Every Friday, we're going to bring it to y'all. So, look, just tune in with us and uh, appreciate you. I do like that, man. I do like that. Will you cut me out? I don't hear myself.